Welcome to Lisa's Lair. I'm Lisa Smiles. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you have not checked out my video on the nerd convention going on, the sci-fi convention in Second Life starts today, so check out that video. But the video that I want to make now has to do with an article that I saw about Second Life and about how Linden Labs is trying to customize your experience um, by tracking more of what you're doing in Second Life so that their marketing to you can be more specific and more, uh, more closely user-based and more individualized for the users of Second Life. So let's take a look at the article in case you didn't see it. It came out three weeks ago online. This is the article, How Second Life Improved Its Marketing ROI by 300%. And there's a video that goes into um, how they have achieved that. And Darren Helton, who is the Senior Digital Marketing Manager at London Lab, is narrating that video. And um, Second Life is using Arm Treasure Data's customer data platform. And that's what they're now trying to um, um, utilize as a tool so that they can really look at what you do once you're in Second Life, how they can market more experiences to you in Second Life um, that fit what you spend most of your time doing in Second Life. And so now they're able to use this platform in order to do that. And obviously it has been very, very successful. So, um, you know, now that there's, now there's a way for Second Life to actually use the data that they have um, been compiling in terms of what do you spend most of your time doing in Second Life? Are you mostly in your home decorating? Are you mostly visiting um, nightclubs? Are you mostly attending live concerts? Which sims are you um, frequenting the most? Are you mainly at your sim um, for the longest period of time? And what are you doing at your sim? How could you be marketed to? differently. One point I wanted to make is that it is stating, um, as you see on your screen, the platform integrates raw, non-personally identifying data, such as locations visited in world and time spent in various regions. In this article, it also says that Linden Lab ran hyper-customized email campaigns, and it says it also effectively engaged website visitors with finely tailored content. So they're able to see what you want to see um, and show you that on screen to make Second Life more attractive to you. In the article, it mentions that Linden Labs has been able to cut its customer acquisition cost by 17%, which is very good. And I'm always curious as to what the customer acquisition costs are for Second Life to really um, bring customers into Second Life who are actually putting money into the economy of Second Life. There is a video on YouTube that you can watch, and it's titled Second Life Success. So go on to YouTube, watch the video if you're more interested. Now that you've seen my video about um, this marketing platform and how it can be used in Second Life to customize the way you are being marketed to as a Second Life resident. Comment below. Let me know how do you feel about this new platform being used. Do you feel that it can help your Second Life experience? Do you feel that you want to be marketed to in a more specific way so that you'll know about everything that's, that um, Second Life has to offer that you are personally interested in? Some people say that it is kind of hard to find a customized experience in Second Life where they can do the things that, they're, that they like to do the most. Um, without hunting to find out, you know, how to be a part of those things. Do you feel that this is a platform that can help with that? Comment below. Let me know how you feel um, about the topic. And also, if you watch this video um, about um, Second Life success and um, about Arm Treasure Data, comment below and say that you saw my video and you went to that video and watched that one and comment and let me know how do you feel that this um, can help you as a Second Life resident. 
as a Second Life resident, I don't want to get email um, for Blinden Labs, um, but I certainly do want to know how this platform can help someone like me um, find more of the Second Life residents who are in my demographic, the older demographic. Lisa's Lair is a channel for the adults in Second Life that are age 40 to the retiree population. And so uh, maybe this platform can even assist the Second Life residents residents um, in finding the demographic that they want to connect to in world. Hopefully you will be able to do that. Well, comment below now that you have found out about this. If you want to find the article online that I have referenced in this video, go to VentureBeat.com or use the title that I gave you at the beginning of this video and Google the article with that title. Thank you for visiting Lisa's Lair, for watching the video, commenting on the topics of this channel, and for supporting this channel with your views. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and please visit Lisa's Lair again and again.